Welcome, and thank you for choosing Petrogen. We are proud to build our systems in the United States, and our dedication to manufacturing the toughest and safest torches in the world is rivaled only by our dedication to customer support. The work was contributed to by several important partners. Floyd Daniel Fernald, the U.S. Department of Energy at Fernald and at Morgantown, West Virginia, the United States Army Corps of Engineers, and B&W Nessie, the prime contractor performing the work. Well, it's funny, when you first um, 
when we first started communicating uh, this information about what we found is a lot, a lot of the vendors, uh, a lot of the other uh, end users out there don't believe it. They say, no, it can't be true. I've never heard of this gasoline torch, you know, uh, and, and I've always used acetylene and no, it, it can't cut faster, you know, it can't be cheaper. You know, they just do not believe you. In order to persuade end users that the oxy gasoline torch is a viable option, the Fernald Large Scale Technology Demonstration Team set up a live demo of the product in Plant One, pitting it directly against the acetylene torch to see which one was more effective. They found that the oxy gasoline torch cut faster and the fuel consumed was less expensive. During the demonstration of the oxy gasoline torch, we had the opportunity to actually have a side-by-side -side demonstration to the baseline technology. We had two people cutting the same piece of steel. The oxy gasoline torch had completed a full 36 inches of cut and was starting on another nine inches of cut. And in the same time, the acetylene torch had only completed 20 inches. The cutting speed and ease of handling that we saw with this torch was a significant improvement over the standard acetylene method of cutting, especially when you get into thicker or heavier steels. Uh, it, it's an improvement uh, from a standpoint of cost, that is it uses a cheaper fuel and it cuts faster so you have labor savings and, and we feel it's also safer in, in the fact that you're dealing with uh, uh, a liquid versus a gas and uh, Trying to move around an acetylene cylinder is a lot more difficult than, than moving around a, uh, uh, you know, a two and a half gallon can of gasoline. Don Krauss of Babcock and Wilcox, a subcontractor to Flora Daniel Fernald, was impressed by the oxy gasoline torch because it more completely oxidizes the metal, which allows for a cleaner cut, while the acetylene torch often leaves behind slag so that there is material that you have to chip away or, or sometimes it will remelt behind a pass if you're going through deep metals you'll have to make a number of passes with the acetylene torch because it tends to flow back in behind it whereas with the with the oxy gasoline torch it will burn all the way through and then blow out you know it will burn away the metal and it won't, it won't flow back in behind you we did a, uh, at the end of each of the demonstrations, we do a debriefing where we bring all the workers in and we ask them, you know, what did you like, what didn't you like? And they, they loved it. Uh, I mean, they basically just loved the torch. They couldn't believe how well that that thing cut through, particularly uh, um, thick steel. The oxy gasoline torch demonstration by the team at Flora Daniel Fernald has been quite a success story. They are now in the process of sharing the information with other sites in the DOE complex, the Department of Defense, vendors, subcontractors, and other companies and countries that are in the midst of cleanup activities.